Uh, let's talk about what's going on at uh, these schools, uh, actually both in East London. We learned of one this morning uh, where uh, they are, they're threatening closure of the school because the head teacher has tried to stop kids wearing pro-Palestine badges and, of course, the Palestinian con contingent don't like that. I mean, we can't really have this, can we? I, I think the head teacher is right, you know, not to allow these uh, pupils to do this, just as she would be right not to allow uh, Jewish pupils to wear the Star of David as a sort of political statement. And yet, look at what we've got here. We've got this great demonstration and, effectively, parents are furious that their kids are missing out on their education. That's right. My two primary concerns. The first is that children are being increasingly used as pawns in yeah. the culture wars. Who out there at the moment is talking about the fact that some of the pupils at this school may be forced back home to online learning? And what kind of impact is that going to have on their education? Not to mention the fact that they may not feel safe within the four walls of their education establishment. So that's clearly... Very troubling indeed. But the second is that teacher authority cannot be undermined, in my view. And this, of course, is also it brings in the Catherine Burblesing mm. case, which is underway. And I'm worried that the government has set out guidance that is actually quite vague, if you look at it, mm -hmm. and then remains quiet when head teachers attempt to assert themselves in a school and try yeah. to set what I view, and I imagine you do as well, as quite reasonable boundaries, as quite yeah. reasonable yeah. rules. And now you have parents coming in, perhaps activists hijacking on yeah. the, the, yeah. the parents' views, yeah. coming in and trying to undermine all of that. And so these are little it's, it's kids, really don't It's a primary course, school, so yes. it's hardly likely that they'll be really committed to the Palestinian cause because they are, like, uh, five years old. No, that's right. And, you know, the worry, of course, is that they are perhaps being exploited you know, in some way. Yeah. When it comes to Michaela's school, Catherine Berman Singh's school, well, perhaps it's some kind of teenage rebellion that some mm -hmm. parents have yeah. seized on yeah, yeah. in order to further to advance mm. a political cause and, as I say, sort of undermine Catherine, who really has become a hate figure yeah. of the left yeah. now. Yeah, she really has. I yeah. mean, what's interesting here is I think the argument about uh, these two particular issues with schools, and we are going to be talking as well about disruption in schools and teachers being unsafe to teach uh, with pupils demanding certain parts of schools and no zone, no go zones and violence in schools. But I think the, talking about these particular issues, it really is representative of the sort of things we're facing societally now as our demography changes. When I was growing up, it was sort of, you know, autumn days, you know, cross-legged on the assembly hall floor or sing Hosanna. And there was a sort of, you know, Christian school assembly, but otherwise, by and large, it was a secular uh, education system. Uh, and then, of course, there was the introduction of more faith schools by Michael Gove. And now we've got these situations where, especially in inner city areas, every single faith and every single community has their own demands to make on the education system. And that's going to be incredibly hard for any future government to balance. That's right. And when you look at the example of Michaela, it has around 700 pupils, half of whom are Muslims. And just one of them, to my knowledge at least, yeah. has lodged this complaint. So we need to be sure that we're not affecting the many mm. in order to meet the demands of the very, very few. But Catherine Burbleson came in and what she wanted to ensure was that the school was multicultural, that it was inclusive. And mm. one way of achieving that was to have the same rules for, for all, all of the people. This isn't the case. They all had lunches, didn't yeah. they? Yeah. Because it's like we can all eat together. So you don't have to have your halal, your kosher, your non-beef, uh, your vegetarian. Yeah. Everyone just eats vegetarian. So they can all share the same meal at the same time. Yeah. Her rules are not just against Muslims. Uh, they're they're they apply to all the pupils, and that's uh, where I think uh, that this uh, drama is all sort of wrong. Um